Welcome to show. I am Clint, and I am here with Evo and Lucho, and we are back for more social deviancy. And today we are going to be talking about. Actually, this is going to be like a an, a the beginner's guide to arcade gaming because there's a lot of young people out there that maybe they maybe they know what an arcade is. But they maybe never played an arcade game. Maybe they've never been to Golfland or Nickel City or whatever have you, or the Aladdin's gas station. Castle. Chuck E. Cheese or whatever. Yeah. The it's not East I mean, we used to play it at 7 Eleven. I know yeah. why they got rid of them because, you know, the criminal element, people getting beat up and stuff like that. But, yeah. you know, we used to, they used to be everywhere. Yeah. Used to go down to the laundromat. Maybe like at Safeway. Yeah, exactly. Or, yeah, exactly. I yeah. remember they had that Fatal Fury Neo Geo. That triple that, yeah, game the thing, game was like at that. the one down by where we live. It was like yeah. what baseball twenty twenty or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're gonna try to go through for all you youngins out there, and you know all older people too. They may not remember some of these games. We try to go through some arcade games. And so, as Gooch would like to say, the only place to start is from the bottom. And we're gonna start with the classics. And so some of the ones we wanted to run down were. Donkey Kong, yep. Centipede, Pac Man, nineteen forty one, Space Invaders, Pong, and then even some uh, Star Wars, even Star some Wars. even newer ones like Paperboy and Well, Paperboy, no, Paperboy is a classic, it's a classic but it's not classic. as old as some of the other ones. No, I was like eighty two, yeah, yeah, but some of these other ones are in the seventies. Well, I mean, like uh, Donkey Kong, uh, I mean, still. obviously, but that's still in the golden age of. of Don't get, yeah, 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 all, yeah, yeah. all the ones we mentioned are actually in the golden age of our. I mean, some of them are so. black screens yeah. with sprites. Yeah, exactly. Paperboy I mean, is not that. I mean, like Pong so is other. pretty much like the very first game, so right. That's like two paddles and a ball. So I'm just saying. Yeah, well, that's yeah. okay. That's a classic game. I mean, I would say play it. That's like the progenitor of all these things. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tetris is another one. Tetris, oh, no, Tetris yeah. came later, right? It came a little bit later. Yeah, no, Tetris 80s, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 82, 83. It? It's yeah. not the Golden Age, though. It's from Russia. It was in Golden Age, though. Oh, uh, yeah. I want to say, because that was one of the first, like, Nintendo games, and Nintendo was 85. Oh, and it okay. came out in the arcade before it became yeah, a, it came oh, out on Nintendo. I'm wrong. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess maybe it is in the Golden mm, Natural, you are wrong. Of course. <laughs> so, I never, the problem is, I never played it on the arcade. I always thought that uh, the puzzle thing was boring. So it was Donkey Yes, Kong. very true. Yeah, it was Donkey That Kong. is an accurate statement. <laughs> So in terms of like older classic games, and obviously if you're you know you're playing PlayStation Four and stuff like you're gonna look at this and be like you know the old you know Back to the Future Two type thing where you have to use your hands. Yeah. That's a baby's toy, you know. Right. But yeah, you know these games are classics. They paved the way for the games that you guys are playing now. Obviously, and you know obviously, I mean I play PC games and I love my I love my great graphics and all, but. I'll tell you what. I'll go back to play Donkey Kong, and I'll go play back. You know, go back to play Batman and stuff, especially the tabletop one, the one you're actually sitting down. Yes, the, the cocktail the, table. The, the cocktail table. Mm -hmm. That's a great. Oh, I, that I want to get a cocktail table machine, but make it a main machine. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, and just have it upstairs in, in the house. Yeah, just, that'd, oh, be so that'd be so fun. awesome. <laughs> but you'd have to get like the little ball thing so you can play like centipede yeah. and well, millipede they have, and um, all that stuff. So Arknoid. Uh, uh, I guess it's called X Arcade or whatever they oh, make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make specifically you know for MAME or for emulations, and they have versions of their cabinets that'll have the joystick and the balls and they oh, have it's good. like yeah. multi-control sort of thing and so. we're talking about the, the track ball is pretty much used, uh, you know millipede and centipede, some other games centipede yeah. uh, arknoid uses it too didn't some the gi joe shooters. game used to use that um the gi well the gi joe is a great game by the way you should probably have one out there but um no i don't i don't think so i think it used uh it used like joystick? a joystick what about 1941 it had a joystick it was yeah, a joystick, joystick. Uh, yeah, 1941 was joystick. the space invaders had a ball at one point, right? No, no it was actually a joystick. Yeah, so centipede's really the main. Well, one. centipede, arknoid, millipede. There was a couple other ones that were the old school ones that used the ball, but most of the time it was, uh, it was just a joystick. Yeah. Every so often you get a like the the double one, which is kind of weird, but double ball. Like you get the double ball one, yeah. Huh. So what, like you'd have to go like really fast back and forth. Shit. I never played one of those. Yeah. So if you guys had to pick like one game from the classic era to recommend to somebody what would be your game mine would be donkey kong i mean you get you get classic two classic nintendo if not the most classic nintendo characters in there for mario and you get donkey kong i mean you're not saving princess peach or whatever her name is i think it's daisy or petunia in this yeah Petunia. it's it's one of it's either daisy or petunia because daisy one. is the one that comes later yeah in it, all the the it, mario it, stuff it, so it, like when it's you know, like mario party you know it's, like it's, daisy's in there it's not it's not princess peach you're saving in this one it's a different yeah, girl maybe but it's petunia or something it's it's, it's like a that. different one but it, it's but you get you get mario and you get donkey kong oh shit and uh 
It's a classic game. It's just a little jumper. Was that Mario's game. first appearance? No. Before Mario Brothers? No, no, because, no, 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 no. Because I think it was, it, he was, it was like a different game that like it's not on there, but it, it was. I think but it was, the original Mario Brothers game is like a Donkey Kong-like game. It's not a side-scroller like. A little bit. Yeah, um, Mar- well, the Mario Brothers. Like the original Mario Brothers game. But there was actually. Super Mario Brothers, I guess actually, it would be. Uh, no, there was actually a Mario game before Mario Brothers. Really? Yeah, it was, it was a Mario game before Mario Brothers, but. Uh, but the Mario Brothers one is like they're actually in a sewer with the with the turtles and stuff, yeah. jumping on them and stuff like that, and fixing their plumbers. Well. Plumbers? No, I, I don't think they plumbers. were really fixing anything. Yeah, all, all you're trying to do is get to the next level. Yeah, it was like and a bubble, all, bubble yeah. game. And so like the the turtles <laughs> would come out of the pipes, and the only way you could, you couldn't jump on them, you'd have to hit the ground underneath yeah. them, and, and then were, they would pop up. And there's the iconic yeah. pow the pow block, the pow block, in yeah. There, and so it, yeah, yeah. So but but I think Donkey Kong is a little bit more iconic than that in the game. What about yeah. you, Diva? What game do you pick? M- mine has to be, and this is specifically the sit down version. Of Star Wars, <laughs> oh. and and the reason why I love this game so much is because from from this game in oof, gosh I want to say late seventies maybe eighty eighty one are they still no actually no they... I take that back this game isn't the very first Star Wars game the very first Star Wars game ever is the Atari one the yeah, Empire Strikes yeah, Back yeah, yeah, yeah. this one came out in like eighty three eighty four yep. but. This is the first time you got to pilot any sort of ship in yeah. a sort of first person sh- uh, view. So 83 on until X Wing, which came out in 91, 92. Oh my God. First time in 10 years where you got to actually pilot a ship in Star Wars in yeah. first person. Now, what's awesome about this is you're, you're, um, you're making your, your way to the Death Star, so you got to fight off a bunch of TIE fighters. Yeah. And then you go to the surfaces of the Death Star where you got to fight more TIE fighters, plus also the towers and the turrets on the Death Star surface, and then you make the trench run. Yeah. What's great about this game is that it also had the first vocalization from the Star Wars movie. So you had Luke saying, Yahoo! And then you have Han says, uh, what did he say? He said, Nice shot, kid. Uh, yeah, nice shot, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Han, um, Obi-Wan says, Use the force, Luke. Yeah. That's the game? Yeah, yeah, that's the game. Right now, if you want to, you can go to eBay and you can pay $7,000 for one, an authentic one. Worth every penny. And I'll mention with that, and if you guys aren't a Star Wars fan, there was pretty much the same type of game for Star Trek. Yes, that's true. Yep. Yeah, the Star that's, Trek Yeah, version. the sit-down cabinet. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful exactly. cabinet, beautiful machine, oh, great that's, play. That looks, that's some great art on that. Yeah, wow. and oh, you got yeah. a giant Darth Vader on the side and he's in space. Yeah. But even the controls of the game, it's nice and smooth. It, I mean, it felt like you were flying an it's X-Wing. It's a flight yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. playing that game and you just sit in there and you know it's a black screen with yep. green, I it's believe it's green. Green and green, red, blue, also white vector yeah. vector yeah. lines. Now yeah. yeah, they did have a Star Trek version. Yeah, they did. But the Star Wars one was better. The Star Wars one was better. They uh, there was a sequel, The Empire Strikes Back, which was same thing, except you're in a snow speeder and you're shooting probe droids and at at walkers and okay. stuff like that. Then there was a Return of the Jedi game, but it had yeah. it was not like those. It was this weird sort of isometric Maze Runner sort of game, oh, and then okay. you're either you're either on a speeder bike on Endor or yeah, in the Falcon in the yeah. in the Death Star. I remember, I, was I remember the Tron speed, game. That I was similar sp- to that game. So Tron was obviously based off the movie, and it what was weird about the Tron game is it had a joystick, but it had a, like a flight sort of joystick. Yeah, and it had a bunch of mini games to it. So it had the one I think it had the highlight version. Or the highlight game, it had the laser disc. Highlight. It Dude, had the it laser. So the, the laser disc one was fun. I actually have that one on the like, emulator. That's actually yeah. pretty fun. And it game. also had the light cycle. Yeah. Oh I yeah, yeah, that yeah. Really. Sort of versus game. And I think did it have a a, a light tank? Because you know how you go around and, or they they uh. But I know there was a light tank game like that, but I don't know if that was for a Tron. Mm. What's yours, Clint? I think it's Spy Hunter. Okay. Every time I hear that game, I thought that was Booker T and the MGs. Is it? It's a Green Onions? It's not, right? It's its own theme. Well, it's a Peter Gunn theme. Yeah. It's a Peter Gunn theme. That's what it is. It's like a theme from like some TV show from back in the 30s or something. That is a classic game, though. That is a classic game. Maybe you could shoot the... It was great because you got power ups. Yeah, you got power ups. That little, that little little semi truck would come yeah, up. You have to pull up behind it and, <laughs> yeah. and drive inside. I used to always think that was like Knight Rider because you know how uh, Kit would always go inside the yep. the, the yeah, thing yeah, yeah. and it kind of went in there and then when it came back it would like recharge and then it would come back out. Yeah, I always thought that was so cool. And I thought that it was uh, not uh, easy game though. It was a no, kind of, it was a little hard. I thought the best times was like when you actually have to like go into the water and you like drive into the into the dock and you, like you come out and you're a boat. So I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask. Was that? I thought that was Spy Hunter Two. No, Spy Hunter One had that too. Ah, oh, dude, yeah. I must not have never got that far. It isn't, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look like the one in Spy Hunter Two. Gotcha. Yeah. 
So eight. yeah, f- uh, so we got we got Donkey Kong, Star Wars, Spy Hunter, three Ooh. classic three arcade classic games, games you have yeah. to check out. And there's obviously more out there. Like, I, mean, I couldn't even tell you where to begin to go look for those. Yeah, like yeah, I know I mean, here they don't have, they're not. You can't. They don't have those emulators. No, well, well, obviously sure an emulator. Can. But we're, we're, we're talking about an arcade, arcade game. Like, it's one like thing to cabinet. emulate it, but you gotta go. It's yeah. it's an experience like, to play it on the camera. So you're talking about like an establishment that has a machine in work. Yes. So you know, like a working Donkey Kong game. Why don't these companies like? I mean, maybe there's no money in it, but why don't these companies like? It's obviously a lot easier to like. It's say like Midway comes out and they have like a hundred arcade games. Why can't they make a box, a cabinet with a hundred arcade games on I'm it sure and can. like charge people twenty five cents? I don't know if there's there's not maybe there's not a market for it. Well, they they already have machines like that yeah. with a lot of the classic games of the eighties yeah. and stuff. So like you could there's there's bot consoles cabinets that have you know joust and I'm sh- I'm bubble sure bubble. people at the airport. Well, don't you think people would play it? Well, I don't know at the airport. I'm sure that's you, what I'm saying. Like at places to, like that, yeah. you can go to like I'm like movie DMV, theaters. They DMV, still have DMV, small yeah. arcades and the movie they theaters. They do. They do mostly new games. I mean, you go to like Dave and Buster's, right? Like yeah, that. Dave and Buster's. Here yeah. we have a, a place called Nickel City that has some newer games, but it also has a lot of the very old games that you can play for free. You yeah. just pay like a five dollar cover charge or something yeah. dumb like that. But we but, had, we can't come in by ourselves anymore because. It, that's all. They, they, they like they have a rule. You can't really. Go, yeah, you, you have to be with, with a kid or something. Yeah, you have to go in there with your child. Um, yeah, Nickel City. I know you got to do that for and, Chuck no, Cheese. No, at Nickel City too, because you know you got so many creepers coming in. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, this is not when we went to Nickel City, dude. See, that's why we need to have like an adult, like arcade. Yeah, we do. Like, well, well DMV, there is such a, such a thing as an adult arcade, but I don't think there's games there. But they don't have. Well, you can play it with some joystick. Have someone else play with your joystick. Okay, so let's move on to the quintessential arcade genre, which is, I would say, the most popular arcade games of all time are in this genre, and that is the fighting game genre. Yeah, it, okay. It's funny because it, like, in the early 80s, uh, probably like the shooter, like side scroller airplane games might have been the, fra- the favorite ones. And then, and also the, the side scrolling beat em up games. Beat em up games, right? With Fatal Fury. But that, that came out a little bit later. But one, uh, when, you know. Basically, Street Fighter. Karate, too. karate Champ. What is oh, Karate well. Champ? But like the Karate Champ was the first fighting game, technically. But when Street Fighter 2 came out onto the field, it, it like changed the arcade. Uh, like arcades in everywhere. Yeah. The culture. The culture yeah. everywhere. And you know, people saw the, how much money Street Fighter made. And all these clones came out, right? And uh, Street Fighter 2, I would say Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition is probably the most quintessential fighting arcade game that you could possibly get and play. And that's the one I would play. People say Street Fighter 1, but it, Champion Edition pretty much has... Everything Street Fighter 2. Well, yeah, you everything. mean the Plano Street Fighter 2. Street, Street, Street Fighter 1 is kind of Because Street Fighter 2 no, Championship no, Edition was basically like, I think in the original Street Fighter 2, you could never play as Vega, Ball No, Rod, no, no. It, it came in and Champ- Bison or Saget. It came with the Champion Edition is when you play the other guys. Yeah, yeah. and I think that's what like, took it over the edge. Yeah. So it was Street Fighter 2. It was Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Tournament Edition, and then Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition? Uh, no, I think it was Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, and then Street Fighter 2 Rainbow. <laughs> Remember that shit? Rainbow? <laughs> yeah. That's Turbo when, or Rainbow? It was like Turbo, Turbo Rainbow and something like that. Like it's like a, a tweak to the uh, to the to the to the mods and the chip where like you could shoot like multiple uh tigers at once and it, like they have like a, a wall of tigers and it, it was And crazy. this was in the arcade. It was an arcade. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew called that. Rainbow edition. Wow. Look it up. I'm not but Street Fighter 2 so Championship. Street Fighter 2 is called the World Warriors. Warriors that's right. That's yeah. the first one. Championship Edition is the second one. Then it's Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yeah. And Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. Yeah. Uh, then it was Street Fighter Super Street Fighter 2, the new challengers. Yeah, that, that was like it was a very It wasn't of, it wasn't yeah. terrible, but like the new characters. And that's when they brought in like DJ and yeah. Cammy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 T-Hawk. yeah, yeah. I didn't like that one. Um and then they had Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And then they had uh Hyper Street Fighter 2. Uh, and then I think Street Fighter 2 Alpha was like it was the a, next one. Because Akuma, well, Al- Akuma was in well, Alpha, Alpha or Alpha, he was in Alpha is like the is like the one that like like a like a, a uh, the story of what happened before the Street Fighter stuff. That's what Alpha means. It's, it's like the first. It's like the first. The prequel. Oh zero. yeah, yeah okay, it's gotcha, a prequel. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, uh, we're not mentioning uh, Fighting Street or Street Fighter One yet because we're, that's going to be later on in the show. But, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, well, the other one is Mortal Kombat. So we had the sprite games, which were uh, your King of Fighters, your Fatal Furies, your um, 
Street Fighters. You know what was a good and fighting Samurai game Showdowns. that was kind of un, un um, uh, now that you're talking about the sprite ones that it just popped in my head. A good fighting game that's kind of underrated. King of Monsters. King of Monsters was fun. Part one, part two was pretty yeah. good, but part one is good. It was a Neo yeah. Geo game, yeah. and yeah. it was you know Godzilla type clone sort of thing, uh, Ultraman clone. Yeah, and you just yeah. fight each other. It was it was almost like a fighting wrestling kind of yeah. game. It's funny because like like the not only could you fight like your your opponent right, but like there was like the humans that were trying to kill you. So you like you'd have to destroy like their ships flying at That's you, right. destroy the buildings and stuff. It was a good fighting game. Yeah, it was a good fighting game. yeah. Um, but Mortal Kombat. It, it, Mortal Kombat, and then obviously Mortal stop, Kombat Two. St- what did it had had stop motion? It had stop motion animation. Animation, the, yeah, and it literally blew up this the, the genre. I mean, Pit Fighter so. was the first one. To Pit do Fighter that. was the first one, but it was really bad. Was it the first one to do I'm that? I'm pretty I sure it was. it was the first one to do it. I, I think it's the first game I remembering having like real people. Yeah, because remember, like, like a life. I want to say Pit Fighter came it. after Mortal Kombat because I remember. I don't think so. I remember. Oh, I, I remember so. watching a documentary for Mortal Kombat, and I. I, I I could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, I'm tweet me. Yeah. Keep talk, hey, keep Devo, talking, yeah. tell me I'm wrong. But I could remember on a documentary about Mortal Kombat, I think it was Ed Boon saying that the reason why they went with the digitized stop motion is because they didn't have... Because uh, uh, Boon and Sabot... Or no, not Sabot. Pit Fighter was released in 90. Yeah. Anyways. Mortal Kombat the, 2 is 92. No, Mortal Kombat 1. Mortal Kombat 1, yeah. Mortal Kombat 1 is 92. Okay. Yeah, Pit Fighter is 90. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, close. Because I, I, I could have swore that in this documentary they said the reason why they went that style is because they couldn't draw the pixel style mm. and they didn't have artists to do it so they figured it'd be a lot easier just to do a sort of stop motion thing because it's something that exactly. they could just put on robes and be their own guys yeah. and luckily so look- they were in it uh, there were some of the characters but they would get uh, I mean obviously like News Ed Boone's not going to do the splits and try to punch somebody in the balls as like, Johnny Cage well, I mean, that's, yeah. and he's not going to put on a ponytail and literally, be Sony there's, there's like three people that do the, uh, all, all the all yeah I mean because obviously you just recolor Scorpion so you got Sub-Zero Sub-Zero, and Reptile yeah. Yeah. and then that same person I think ended up being Johnny Cage or Raiden. I think no, Johnny Cage and Raiden. I think are the same people. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, oh, I didn't know. Well, because it's like with Raiden, he's got color. So at least like, in the first game, you're talking about. Yes, in the second game, it's they're all different and actors. They, well, I mean, they could afford a little bit, a couple. I more always tractors. wondered how they did Kentaro and like uh, Goro was, and stuff. It was like just it, all CG. Yeah, so oh, those okay, two okay. were CG. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Shang Tsung and all that stuff. Like yeah, that. you know. Essentially, I think Shang Tsung is actually a person, but like with the heavy makeup, super on, makeup. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, like those two are like with some of the quint. Now, did the the game didn't blow up because of that art style. The game blew up because of the violence. Oh violence. yeah, yeah. The yeah. violence that would, I think was that, huge, man. If you were, I mean, if, that was. I think that was the main narrative for arcade and yeah. video games at that time. You know, but the problem, the period, problem is like like Mortal Kombat brought brought it, brought it to the forefront of it. And like I don't think the game itself was all that great. The problem is it got so much media coverage because you know you're like I mean you're ripping, ripping people's, people's heads off with their spines attacked. Yeah, 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 ripping and, hearts and out. Kano has one I think one of the best fatalities of all time. Full, rips heart is still beating. Fool rips out his heart, looks at it and just picks it up and while it's still beating. I think it's one of the best. Remember the thing where they had the Remember they had the environmental fatalities too, where you could like punch them off the ledge and they would like get speared on the, pit, the spike, the, the pit, pit yeah, and stuff yeah. like. There was like, and I think in part, part two, part two, yeah. part two there was an acid bath, yeah. I yeah. believe. So in part one they only had the pit, right? Yeah, pit, and they would and fall then, off. Yeah, yeah, and then part two they had the pit, and then they had the acid bath, and there's something else. <laughs> no, they but had the one that had the, the spikes on top, and they like hit him, and the guy gets stuck on the top. And That's right. Slowly yeah. burning. And they would go, uh, uh, yeah, uh, they uh, and yeah. They would so like the, twitch and fall. Down. And that was a big thing too, is because. Up until that point, no other game had at that you know a fatality or some sort of you know ending type move. Yeah, yeah. and that's true. Yeah, no fighting. That was they were the first ones to do. That. Yeah, to to you get to a point to where you won the match, so now you get to do something just completely humiliate your opponent. I remember yeah. we used to like try to find the magazines that had the lists of all the different fatalities, like the combination of moves and stuff like that. Like that's something you were never you, really see anymore. Were you like me and you would write down the moves so you could take them to the to the arcade? With oh you? yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I could I could never remember any of that stuff. And, and then like, it's easy to remember some of them. Like if you use Sub Zero all the time, you can remember his. But like for the guys that you didn't use that often, because you just yeah. wanted to see what they look like. Yeah. I remember it was like this thing that you didn't even really saw the thing in person. It was like this like oh could someone? Did you know someone that could do it? Yeah. yeah. And it, unless you had easy access to one of these machines and you were playing on a daily basis, you had no time to practice. Nah. So the only time you got to practice is and like. You, you better like at least for me. I I would hope that nobody would come in and play against me while I was playing. Yeah, I I I because even some of the the ones that had like like say you wanted to play like part, let's say part two Baraka like he's not easy to use. So it's like kind of hard to even get wins with him because when you play the arcade version, it was like playing like on a really hard level. Whereas if you played the console, you could like adjust the levels and so right. forth. The yep. graphics were never as good back then as like arcades, of course, but. 
but at least with Mortal Kombat, the console versions, they didn't look that bad, and they looked very comparable to yeah, they did to the arcade version, and it was easier to do the fatalities yeah. because you could just press up, up. Whereas like with the stick, it got a little hard because you had to like literally just do up, up. You couldn't like. You know what I mean? Like mess it mm. up in some way, you know? Okay. But plus, I mean, there was like a time thing too, where you had to like Ooh, be yeah, in a yeah. specific spot. You had to like, you only had a certain amount of time to do it and yeah. so forth. Yeah. Uh, and I just remembered like spending hours at the 7 Eleven and just playing that game over yep. and over, you yeah. know what I mean? And just, and Street Fighter as well. And I'm, I think it was one of those things too where like you couldn't like take a trip somewhere and not see a, a, a machine somewhere. Oh, no way. Either it was either a Street Fighter machine, a Mortal Kombat machine, <laughs> a Fatal Fury machine. Yeah, I remember my dad and I. When I was thirteen. We went on a cruise, <laughs> and 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 they had like a little little section for the kids, and part of that section was an arcade, and the only fighting game they had there was Street Fighter Two. Yeah, yeah. I'd go camping, and like, and they had like a little like a little like a yeah, like lunch area, and mm, lunch yeah, area yeah, yeah. had a uh, had like a little small arcade, and uh, the, only, yeah. the only fighting game that was there. Street Fighter, Street Fighter, yeah. My family would go camping at Thousand Trails. <laughs> yeah. And, and it was went, the same thing. Yeah. Like, they have this little area where you can, you know, wash your lo- do your laundry. They yeah. had a pool there, and they yeah. had stuff where you can get, like, ice cream or yeah, food exactly. and stuff. And they had probably, like, a little room that had four or five machines. But it, Mortal Street, Con- or Street, Street Fighter was always Street there. Fighter. Yeah. Street Fighter 2. And Fighter do you guys two. remember, like, going to play at some place, and, like, there was a crowd around because someone that was really good was there and they just kept playing and kept beating everyone. And oh, I was yeah. Just, like, played some of these people. I'm just like, I don't even understand how they played like that. Like, no. it was like, crazy to me. Yeah. Well, again, that goes to the practice, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. unless you had easy man. access to a machine, yeah. it, unless you played a ton, then you were super good. And I was never, I, was, I never had enough time to go and, and play it. So I was really bad at those games. And yeah, that's one of the reasons why I hate fighting games. But. Yeah, our, yeah, our folks <laughs> ever had any, either one, they always time to go, or one, they didn't want to give us any quarters. I mean, this, we're talking about, I was 91, I was like 10. And where we live, I think the only place, well, maybe around your area, maybe like at um, the grocery store over there, they had like some machines. But for me, the closest place I had was Game Hunter. Yeah, that's where I'd go to. And that was, I forgot about I, Game Hunter. And for me, that was like, I mean, a, a 10 minute walk, but yeah. like I would just ride my bike down there. But that was literally the, like, even the Safeway, they, they never had video games there. I was lucky. I, right across the street, from, they never had Mortal Kombat, yeah. but they had all the different Street Fighter. Every Street Fighter that came out, they had it at the 7 Eleven across from where my folks live. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we would just go. And I remember like people getting in fights and just yeah. being over oh, there yeah. all the time. And my folks be like, come over there, Clint, you got to come home to dinner and stuff like that. <laughs> you know? just, but it was a different time then. Like, this was like being at the 7 Eleven isn't like it is now with like a bunch of derelicts and all no, that stuff no. like that oh yeah just a bad element and especially the one right by where i live it was a different time yeah you know yeah. this was a safer place you could be out just by yourself yeah. as a young person and it, 10 12 years old yeah, it wasn't the fun. same so let's talk about some honorable honorable mentions here because we also know that for fighting games for fighting games because we know that those are the two best and they're the greatest ones of all time yeah and um and actually even the weird thing is even the newer versions of street fighter and mortal kombat have gotten decent reviews no actually. they're huge like, people yeah. think street they're fighter still good games and mortal kombat no street fighter 5 is garbage is it garbage yeah. Yeah. Okay, I but I know remember. four was huge. I know four was huge, was huge. Yeah. Four was huge. Like, and the Mortal Kombat one, the one that they had that was the three D. People really liked that game. Yeah, and Ten. even the, the latest one, Mortal Kombat X, X? Yeah. Yes. is getting good. It's yeah. been I hear it's been pretty good, but yeah. they're also starting to incorporate a lot of a lot of new characters. Yeah. Have you heard about those? No. Yeah. Jason Voorhees, and Predator, <laughs> the Predator, <laughs> the Alien, the Xenomorph. Yeah. Oh, see that, that I like that. Yeah. And speaking of that, that you bring me to the point of the one game that I want to mention that is like. A fighting game? A fighting game that's made, that's like, it's not going to be talked about as one of the best of all time because people don't, people probably view it as but inferior. It was good. But I, uh, okay. X Men versus Marvel Street versus Fighter. Capcom. Oh, no. Marvel versus Capcom. Marvel, yeah. yeah. So there was, there was, oh, go ahead. I was going to say Marvel versus Capcom 2, I think, is yeah. actually regarded as one of the best. Because I just think I those games the are top and fighting games. That was one of, I think that was, I don't know if that's the first one because they may have done this in like Fiddle Fury or another Neo Geo game first, but it's the first Comcast Com, Capcom game where you could switch in between characters in the middle of a round oh, I think and like yeah. use the, and use both, uh, you know, life bars to, life yeah. bars, and yeah. to, uh, to stay alive. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I, know, I think they had done it before in other games, but that one did it really well. Yeah, yeah. they did it really well. And the character selection they had in that game was just fantastic. It was yeah. great. Yeah. You had the quintessential Street Fighter players. You had... Uh, uh, Magneto uh, and Wolverine yeah, and all that. Cyclops, Cable, uh, all Man Iron Man, War Machine. Yeah. Oh, so and good. what was best was the Capcom ones. It was like they had you had you play as Mega Man oh. and Sh- 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 Strider Hear You from, uh, Yo, from Strider yeah, yeah, games yeah. and stuff. You, you had your you had your you know Ryu's and you had your cans and stuff. But 
But the odd character from Capcom was what got really got it. I thought yep. that was great. Yeah. Like you're, you're playing with, you have Rock and Wolverine in, in a group, and it, it was just so much fun. <laughs> I remember we used to play that at one of my old uh, jobs because we had just some weird Neo Geo machine, and, and somebody actually had a bunch of the cart because apparently in the back of those machines, they're just giant cartridges. Yeah, and so he he had the Marvel vs. Capcom two, and he was just bringing it in, plug it in, and I'm sitting like he's sitting there like War Machine, Iron Man. I have like whoever Magneto, but I'd have Chun Li, and for whatever reason, I would just whip his ass with Chun Li. <laughs> he just couldn't beat Chun Li, so like I'm beating down Cable, you know, Cyclops, War, everybody with just some stupid ass little, little girl. So what are the other honorable uh, mentions? Tekken. Oh yeah, the Tekken, Tekken series is just great. Virtual uh, Fighter, Virtual Fighter yeah, is yeah. is great. Ultimately, um, Tekken I think beat them out though. I mean, it, but I think Virtual Fighter was the first like first, three like that fully 3D, 3D, 3D one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, Fatal Fury. Yeah, the Fatal Killer Fury Instinct. Game. Yeah, Fatal Those Fury spawned Fatal the Fury. Yeah, Fatal Fury spawned the whole. That's the one with the the was it SNK or was it? That's SNK. I thought SNK. Fatal Fury was a beat 'em up game. No, Fighting that's game. Final Fight. No, but the Fatal Fury is a is the SNK version. No, Fatal Fury. No, that's a fighting game. That's the one that that spawned the. That's that's the one with geese and stuff and like the the Bogard brothers and stuff like that. Because I know Joe, he's in Final Fight. Joe, it's a fighting game. It's yeah, definitely Joe, a fighting. Huh. You look Busa. up Final Fight because that might be the one you're thinking of. Um, no, I know Final Fight. No, Final Fight. No, that's no, no. That's it, Fatal Fury is the fighting game. That's that was SNK's. That's SNK's uh, flagship. Oh, Final Fight you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of Streets of Rage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely yeah, different game. Different My game, bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, the Fatal, the, uh, Fatal Fury is the one that spawned like the King of Fighters and the huge, which is a huge honorable mission, by the yeah. way. Yeah. That, that was like SNK's like uh, version of King of Fighters. The King of Fighters. I think it was a Fatal Fury game. No, that is that is it's a Fatal, a Fatal Fury. That's a Fatal. That's a, it's Fatal Fury. It was like Fatal Fury Two, Fatal Fury Three, and then it came out to like Fatal Fury Tournament, and then it was King of Fighters, which is like all of the SNK characters. Yeah. That could have ever existed were fighting each other, and so. And spawn Night Stalkers, I think too. I, oh yeah, uh, no Night Stalkers is Capcom. Oh, okay. Yeah, Night Stalkers are good. That one because Night Stalkers the one with the, the bat chick with the giant. Yeah, uh, Morgan. Uh, yeah, Morgan, and uh, she gets cosplayed all the time. Yeah, yeah she's hot. <laughs> okay, so let's. Uh, so and then we have. Um, so I mean, that I think that's a good. That's uh, good. So the next, I think I don't know what you guys would say was the next most popular genre, but I feel like maybe the next most popular genre of arcades is racing games. I think because there, it's, it's fighting universal. Well, I don't know, before, before the fighting, we were talking about the beat em ups, the side scrolling yeah, beat em ups. I'd probably say beat em ups. It's like, with that, it's like it was one of the first ones that are out there. Like the racing games were there, but I think people played more like the beat em ups more because it's like the, you know, the, 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 the what are the final fights? I, I mean, know, I just feel like final racing, fights, double dragon, double dragon, bad, bad dudes, dudes yeah, POW, the yeah. Punisher. So yeah. let's talk about wasn't there a Spider Man side scrolling? There was a Spider Man because you could be, you could be Namor, you'd be Spider Man, you'd be Black Cat. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. Was called, it was, I think it was called. And then the there amazing, was the Avengers. Yeah, there would be like the Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah. yeah, I take that back. I think I know what the third most popular. It's multiplayer games. Multiplayer games. Okay. Multiplayer games. Yeah, okay, so let's talk multiplayer. Okay, let's talk. Welcome to die. X-Men. Probably the top Probably the, the top one for I know me. your top I, one. My I, top I one, too. Maybe the best arcade game ever. Oh, maybe. Uh, maybe not go that far, go that far but, but I have I actually yeah. have one better than that. I think, right personally, I personally have a better game. I think Virtual Launch is a better game. But, okay. But um, X-Men, by far, is one of the most fun games on arcade I ever played. Yeah, because it took X-Men characters that... I mean, at the time, I think we're fairly new, right? Yeah, because you got you well, except for Wolverine, you had Wolverine, you had Dazzler, you had Cyclops, you had Storm, Colossus, Colossus, Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler. I think that was a six. Uh, there was a six player. Yeah. yeah, that was a six player. Yeah, and you, and it's funny because this one it was. It's like, we're saying it's a multiplayer, not because you can play with two people, because you can either play with four. two, three, four, or even six sometimes. Yeah, if you had that, if you had that, because there were three different machines. No, four different four machines. different machines. Because there was the one that was a single one where well, you had two players. two players. You got the double one, which was four. You had the triple one, which the one is three was, players. Yeah. But the, the, these three machines are all one screen. Yeah. And then you get the six player, which is actually two screens. Did you you never play the one that was three screens? That the six one was a three screen one. Ah, I only play, I only ever played two screens. That shit was crazy when it was a three screen. And when, when it was all six players, it was ridiculous. That's bonkers. amazing. Yeah, I played the four one. The four one here was the one that we played mostly. The one that you played at the, at the drive-in. The drive-in. The yeah, thing oh, I yeah. loved about it is like if you saw that there were like two or three people on them, you're like, I just want to jump in because yep. you yeah. know how fun it was going to be. And, and it's and like you don't even know these people. And the beautiful thing about that game is is you could have your favorite person. Like for me personally, Cyclops is my favorite. Oh, me too. It was but so, it didn't so matter so who you played. It didn't. 
it was it was fun regardless. Sometimes you got stuck with the one you yeah. didn't want, like, but I'd be, it didn't like, matter. It was still fun. Like I'd be with Dazzler. And, yeah, like, I was but say, like, oh my god, stuck with Dazzler, great. Yeah, but still, like it was such a fun game. It, it didn't so matter great. even if you had Dazzler. So and the cool thing was, I felt like that was a game you could actually beat. No, oh, yeah. Whereas like some oh, of these arcade games, it was like yeah, almost impossible to like beat the yeah. game. Like you have to. I felt money. that way about the Punisher also. Yeah, Punisher game was pretty easy. Yeah, because you're Punisher and Nick Fury, and you're just going around and and going through the typical Punisher villains, and then the end boss is Kingpin. But it was one of those, it was almost exactly like, it was like Final Fight and, oh, God, what's the other? Oh, uh, Alien vs. Predator. Alien vs. Predator. Yeah, and that's, well, dude, that's another one that you got to put on that. Let's beat up the beat up. Um, but it's also, it's a multiplayer game, too. But there was, but it was only two player. It wasn't more than them. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let's um, talk about oh. that. The, these two, maybe you guys played, obviously, because it was X-Men and Teenage Mutant Turtles. Teenage Mutant was great. It was. it was absolutely amazing. It like and the cool thing is they had all like the major Ninja Turtles, Krang, and Krang. No, you all had, them, all yeah. the characters, Rock all City, the characters. Bebop. It was great. Yeah, you know they didn't make up characters so for the no. They put every single character that was in the in the Metalhead in, in, in the in the. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Metalhead was in this one. That was in part two. Oh, you're right. Because it was okay. Dexter, so it was Baxter, Baxter, it was because Baxter was, Baxter was the first villain in both games. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Rocksteady, Rocksteady was. is yeah, the first. Rocksteady, it's Rocksteady, Bebop, Baxter. Um, the fourth character is one of like the one of the one of the. That's the, right, because in in the, the first one, guys. Baxter's in the machine. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. It's one of the rock guys, is this? Uh, Though the, the, one of the rock generals. Yeah, one of the rock generals. Crag or yeah, something. Yeah. Um, great game. Who was your favorite person to play with? Oh, I was always Michelangelo. My yeah. bro was Donatello. I was always Michelangelo. I like Leonardo. I always went Leonardo. Yeah, yeah. I was always. But my favorite, my favorite. Um, Turtle is Raphael, but it. Uh, I always went with Leonardo. No, I was always it was always Michelangelo because he was my favorite turtle. So yeah. Michelangelo, yeah, he's great. Yeah. What are you and do? my favorite villain is uh, will always and always always be Rocksteady and Bebop, dude. <laughs> so funny, dude. Off tangent, they look fantastic in the yeah, movie. Yeah, I saw that. They look really good. They look really good in the in the like the in CG the original movie. movie. They look like dark crystal creatures. I don't know why. Yeah. But, yeah. They weren't in the original yeah, movie. They weren't. I mean, the movie. the what was it? The second one. The the no, that no, was, that was that Toka was, and Razor. Oh yeah, Toka and Razor. Those were those were Rocksteady and Bebop have never been in an initial movie. Why? Because I'm sure it was hard to make. But in in this one they're, they're gonna have bebop rocksteady a new shredder who's gonna look more like the cart not exactly like the cartoon but more like instead of like giant robo shredder yeah. and they're gonna have krang oh that's cool krang yeah, yeah. but okay so let's talk let's talk uh so the, a couple other ones were michael Wait. jackson's moonwalker well that's what i wanted to say i wanted to bring up see the first two that we brought up most likely you probably have run into yes moonwalker My, moonwalker on the other hand it was hard for us to run into that game. Yes. It was only on, it went to the console. It was only Sega. I think Sega made well, the game. It was Sega made the game, but like the the second so game, the arcade part, part of the second game. Even, I don't think it was that good. That one but was our, you couldn't even. That one wasn't even at a lot of places. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was hard for us at the time to find the Michael Jackson Moonwalker, which yep. is possibly one of the. It's a three player game. A bad three yes. player game. You could be you red, could be, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. It was like it was a. It was um, if you ever watched the Moonwalker uh, movie, it was a um, MTV or made for. TV movie, yeah, yeah, the Moonwalker movie, the Moonwalker yeah. movie. I don't, I, I think it's like an elongated music video. Uh, well, it's, I don't think it was a theater film, but no, 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 no. But they really, really, it was like I, I made. For I had TV. the VHS for yeah, it. Yeah, it was like I, made, I have I made, a Blu-ray. It was like I made oh, for damn. a TV movie. Yeah. yeah, so it pretty much follows that storyline. You're Michael Jackson. You know, you're falling. It's if you like Michael Jackson music, especially from I think it's from the Bad or thr- the Thriller. The thriller, I, the thriller album, which one? Bad album. The Bad album. Because it was he was dressed like Smooth Criminal. Yeah, he's dressed like Smooth. So it's from the Bad album. Bad album. He goes through this, you know, you're playing with your friends, you know, you have, And he has all the songs. And has, has all the songs. It's a really great game. If you like Michael Jackson, if you like World Play Player, and if you like have a great time with your friends, this is one of the this is one of the gems out there that most <laughs> really, the, the, yeah, the really beautiful is. thing about that game is that he had a special meter. Yeah. Yeah. And when the special meter got <laughs> got filled and you hit your special power, Michael Jackson, all the players, like you, the other yeah. two players, any any like cause Enemies, the, yeah. any enemy and the, the, the part of the um uh, goal of the game was to run around and save the kids that were yeah. being kidnapped by Joe Pesci's character. Yeah. <laughs> and it, even if they were like, because they're all like wrapped up and you ha- or tied up and you had to like untie them and, and save them, even if they were if t- tied up, when you hit that special, everybody on the screen would dance. Yeah. But what was beautiful 
remember What was that. beautiful is that depending on the level you were on, that was themed after one of his songs. Yeah. They would all do the the the, the, the that particular dance from that song. Yeah, it was so the like, thriller one. Yeah. yeah so so like so in the great, thriller, dude. you're in the graveyard and you're fighting the zombies. <laughs> yeah. And then when you do the dance, they're all doing the thriller dance. Yeah. In the first level, when you're going through the little bar, the pool yeah, table, yeah. the pool yeah. hall, yeah. that's the the um the smooth criminal, and they, yeah. they do the lean and all that stuff. So that was yeah, and that was the beautiful. And I think. I want to see maybe the last one they were doing. That's where he would you know do the spin, throw the hat, and do the moonwalk. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. ugh, that was game was so fun. The so. the music was great. The yeah. gameplay was fun. You got to get the uh, robot power up, so you could turn to Robo uh, Michael Jackson. Yeah. And the thing is, we even played this like I don't know, it might, might be some years ago now, but we played it like as adults on an oh, emulator yeah. Yeah. to like it, it's like it, it stood the test of time, it's, it's, it's just great, like X Men and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles do. Yeah, great, great, game. great yeah. game. And honorable mentions like uh, the Simpsons. The game. Simpsons one was fantastic. Great game. Um, there was a couple other ones, but I think I think these ones are the ones that take the cake. If you what? want a, a, a Oh, I was gonna say, well, I was gonna say one thing that I loved about the Simpsons one is that they had tag team moves. Yeah, yeah, you can grab it depending on who you are. Yeah, so like if you're a Homer, you can go to one of the kids, Bart or Lisa, and they would jump on your shoulders, and then you'd have the superpower move. The the, the two of you yeah. would just run around. Like and I, I remember, move. I think it was uh, if if Homer had a uh, Bart on his shoulders, Bart would shoot his uh, his uh, slingshot. His slingshot. While you know, while Homer was pretty much like almost invincible, and yeah, run into guys and stuff. And like if you got Marge, Marge, he would spin Marge around mm-hmm. or something like that. It was really fun. Yeah. yeah. Was there another Simpsons game that was similar to Paperboy? Uh, maybe Where Bart was on the maybe bike? on Nintendo. Okay. Yeah, yeah it might have been like Nintendo. Bart versus the Space Mutants. I think or I think that's the one you're thinking okay. about. Yeah, because it had the it had a similar graphic style, yeah. but it wasn't the same gameplay where you're running around on a bike. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, no, uh, no, I, I think was, was that the one where like. One where the one with the space mutant one's really bad. There's like a four games the, on that game. The I mean, space the space the space true. mutant one is where like they take all. They're like we need colors to yeah, power our ship. So like they, they take all the colors of like like they take everything that's blue. So you got to run around the stages and you got to spray can. You got to spray paint everything like the right color. Yeah, it's it's very very strange. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs>